Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lambeau. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. It's Rodgers. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 34. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their aggressiveness. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. They'll set up a throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. say it's not like him to come up short on a kick like that yeah and it's real easy for me to say this but anything in the 40 to 49 yard range should be pretty automatic for an NFL kicker especially in terms of at least getting it there so you're right that is a surprise that this will come up short and now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete here's second and 10 now from the 35 now Rodgers it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. 
Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. Rodgers to throw for it on four. And they're going to get this up to midfield. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot of investigation to figure out why they're still sitting at zero on the scoreboard because their quarterback's got to wake up and start reading defense a heck of a lot better after throwing his second interception. First and ten, it's Hurts. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? Throwing again on second and ten, Hurts. He rifles one that's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Packersons are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one, and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Even later into his career now, there aren't too many guys that can launch it downfield with accuracy better than Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers now on first down. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 13-yard line. We're scoreless after one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And again, it's Rodgers. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. 
And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by Hassan Reddick. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening half. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard, that's complete. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. His hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. We can make this one pretty simple. Rock the ball his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time, but nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Hurt sets up to throw it. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Now Sanders. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. to throw and this is caught by Watkins and he'll get this to the 40 but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down 
So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They're going to try and throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Packers will take over here just shy of the 30. If you're a lover of offense, this has not been the half for you thus far. Luckily for me, though, I'm sitting next to a lover of defense. And we have had plenty of that, including that interception. Yeah, and I mean, that still makes it a great game, doesn't it? Everybody talks about if the ball's not in the end zone and points going up on the board, it's not as much fun. I love these defensive battles. Something's got to give with these turnovers. Who can convert them into points? The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Got a man. That's Lazard. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Second and inches. Rodgers. And it's a Packers touchdown. Aaron Jones in the final seconds of the first half. And the Packers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. So time it up for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon.
It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. And the Packers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. Well, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw, it's Rodgers. Right side to Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Rodgers now on first down. A complete once again to Watson. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. First down carry by Jones. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. Well, earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice, safe throw and a good one. And they got it inside the 10 at the 8. Throwing is Rodgers. And now this one may draw a penalty. He just blindly threw that one to the sideline. And yep, indeed, the flag is out. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. They'll try again with Jones. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. A good run there, nine yards, but it still leaves him with work to do on third and goal. Rodgers going to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Robert Tunyon, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers go up by two touchdowns. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got to cushion it for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well.
Crosby connects on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last time out on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And he definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. But first down, Hurts. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. To throw once more on second and ten. Hurts. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, after incompletions on first and second down, it certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Hurts. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jair Alexander. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you. And you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? down to zero and this is not the way to start a drive now the offense knew it they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted right out of the gate we're gonna get a delay though so they accept the penalty of course and push the offense backwards a bit 